One shallow water neighborhood is going into its 10th day without water service. Valley Estates is on private land, which makes fixing the problem difficult. KCBD News Channel 11's Natalie Falkenberry went to the neighborhood to investigate, and as she reports, many residents, some who are disabled, are forced now to haul their own water while the future remains uncertain. Come on, 10 days and no water? Uh, here I am, a disabled man, having to haul my own water to my own house. Residents at the Valley Estate Mobile Home Park have not had running water since last Sunday. That's when their water well stopped pumping. We need water. I can't hardly cook because, you know, we use our water that we lug. And, of course, the bathrooms, I don't have to explain that. That's self-explanatory. That well that provides water to their neighborhood is privately owned, and the owner was recently hospitalized. That leaves this community at a loss on when its water problem will be solved. You know, it could be up to two weeks, two months, and that's just not feasible. I mean, that's that's where it's going to get real sticky if it, if it goes into that, and God, I hope it doesn't. Without knowing how long they'll have to go without water, residents in this shallow water neighborhood are turning to other sources to meet their water needs. We get water from, from, from this guy that comes by with a big old tank and he, he pulls up our, our, our jugs and we, we go from there, you know. Not knowing where or if that water is coming is more concerning for some. Yeah, she's, on, she's on dialysis And I'm on dialysis, <laughs> home dialysis. And you need water for that. Yes. Right. We reached out to Lubbock County on behalf of the residents. We were told because the well is privately owned, it can offer no assistance. The Texas Commission on Environmental Quality tells us it is aware of the issue, but could not comment any further. Natalie Falkenberry, KCBD, News Channel 11.